I wanted to comment on Al Gore's comments in regards to uh, his feeling that the U.S. is uh, stalling on climate change. While I agree with that, uh, what I'm not going to comment on is uh, whether or not climate change is real and occurring. That argument is actually irrelevant because the arguments for reducing industrial pollution are valid. I mean, the birth defects industrial pollution causes are very real. Uh, the cancer rates are very real. Uh, the contamination in our beef and our water and our air, all that's very real and undisputed. So the argument that it isn't necessary to pass stricter environmental laws because climate change isn't real doesn't really make any sense. I mean, the birth defects are real, the cancer rates are real, all of this is not disputed. So we should be reducing uh, industrial waste and emissions and uh, contamination on our own just for those reasons alone. Climate change is just a bonus. If it's real, great. If it's not, it doesn't matter because we still need to reduce this pollution anyway because of the cancer rates. Now, what I wanted to talk about was uh, Bush's rationale for not wanting to join the Kyoto Protocols. His rationale is that he feels that it would place undue uh, economic burdens on U.S. companies. Now, this is not a new, ar new, new argument at all. This, in fact, this argument goes back almost 100 years. When we were uh, in the progressive era and trying to reform our labor standards, this argument was used constantly. Uh, when we tried to abolish child labor, uh, the corporations re resisted insisting that it would place undue economic burdens on them. Now what gets lost in the shuffle here is that it is a good thing if companies go bankrupt that can't meet the new standard. If you're using child labor and you can't meet the new state, the new standard, then you're a poorly run business that deserves to fail. It's not a bad thing when corporations fail when they can't meet higher standards. When a poorly run business fails, a new, more intelligently run business fills the vacuum. If you're poorly run and you rely exclusively on child labor or cheap labor or immigrant labor or can only make a profit if you don't properly dispose of your industrial waste, you're, you're not doing any favors for America. You deserve to go bankrupt. So by raising standards and clearing the field, so to speak, of these poorly managed companies that's actually improving our economy, lowering the standards to accommodate the most poorly run, poorly managed company is actually doing us a great disservice. We need to return to traditional sink or swim economics here. By raising industrial pollution standards, we're making our nation healthier, but we're also clearing the field of companies that really should have gone bankrupt a long time ago, but thanks to Bush and his lowering standards are, have been kept in play. So I applaud higher standards, and I am actually looking forward to some poorly run businesses going bankrupt. I think it's a good thing, and we can only benefit in the end.